Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Six Fig Stock Trader here on YouTube, May 20th, 10 a.m. Central Time, CKB Nervous Networks on the daily chart. Let's go. As we can see, our little baby CKB seems to have leveled off, and it is around the 61.8 level, so that is great to see. If we switch back to a 12-hour chart, we can definitely see that we did spear through it, but buyers stepped in and we are holding support, kind of like what happened back in late April. Are we going to see a bounce? Well, that's a good question. Going back to the daily chart, what we can see is our stochastics are telling us some important information. Yes, they are in the tank, but we do have a crossover. And where the blue line crosses the yellow line, that's generally a good signal uh, if it breaks away upwards that we will be moving upwards. RSI is in the tank. Both of these indicators are right where we want them. If buyers step in, it gives us a lot of momentum and, and velocity tank in the gas to make an upward move, especially on the daily chart. We can definitely see, you know, when times have been tough down here for CKB, we are in a similar instance, um, you know, just how how uh, much of an uptrend we can experience. So with all that said, CKB is looking decent in that respect, but you know, when I'm looking at this Ichimoku cloud, I'm, I'm kind of worried here at the same time. Is this conversion line gonna start trading parallel to the 50% line? Nobody knows. It kind of did that here back in late April, uh, but I would like to see this conversion line do that and I want to see a spike back through the cloud when we spiked back through the cloud here with this bit thumb announcement I thought maybe we would see uh, you know some some upward momentum from there but it just didn't happen now with all that said I want to go back and take a peek at Bitcoin because like I said in previous videos Bitcoin is kind of like the driver for the market and we are the passengers. Now, when I drew up these mock candles, like I thought uh, we might see today, it's very evident, uh, you know, uh, that what I predicted is happening. I, I said, I think we're going to see these candles start getting smaller and smaller. We're going to see probably a doji star appear, spinning top, whether it's red or, or green. Nobody knows yet, but uh, Bitcoin is in a very similar situation, obviously, to CKB, but we haven't seen price levels like this for Bitcoin, or, or uh, I should say RSI and stochastics at these levels since September of 20. And we can definitely draw very strong similarities from here. And if you pay attention to how much this market has risen since then uh, I'm optimistic very optimistic and if this is Elliott wave theory and this is just maybe on a grand scale you know wave one to two uh, we are in business for some serious profits on Bitcoin I could definitely see that 100,000 mark this cycle, 125, 150,000 uh, mark this cycle. So all, all eyes on Bitcoin over the next few days. Like I said in the previous video, I'm predicting a pivot point on May 23rd, three days from now. Back to CKB, uh, there's really not a whole lot more to talk about. If you want to learn more about Ichimoku Cloud Trading, feel free folks to stick around this is very important and will only take a few minutes of your time now let me kind of break this down quickly for you now there are lots of great videos on YouTube again this isn't financial or trading advice I'm just some guy that's crazy drawing crazy squiggly lines on the chart so with that said let's kind of go over some basic fundamentals quick of Ichimoku cloud trading and this might benefit you when you're looking at some of my charts, not knowing exactly what these lines are. On my charts, my conversion line is red. On my charts, the baseline is blue. 
Some traders tend to reverse those. So it's very important if you're looking at other people's charts to know what their setup is. The conversion line is basically a line that measures the median point in the candles, nine candles back. And the baseline measures the same thing, but 26 candles back. So this, these are really similar to uh, regular moving averages like you might see here, the 200 and the 50. Uh, on my charts, the 200 is yellow and, and purple. That's just how I've always been trading. So getting back to Ichimoku Cloud, there are kind of two fundamentals that you might want to consider following. Uh, rule number one, don't ever trade in the cloud. When it's trading in the cloud, these are generally unestablished trends and you're really gambling at that point. So it's best that when these things enter the cloud, uh, don't trade within the cloud. Now, what I'm about to tell you with the conversion and baseline is for a long position if we're looking to go long. And consequently, if you want to go short, you just inverse this theory. So what I look for is when I see the conversion line, the baseline, and this price spike through, you know, a bearish cloud, that is a good indication that a trend might be in fact reversing. What I like to see happen personally is I like to see the conversion line cross, come up and cross over the baseline. And I like to see this happen rapidly. I don't want to see this slow stuff. I want to see a clean cut through like right here. And what this tells me is that, uh, you know, there might be a strong upward momentum coming. So with that said, usually when the cross happens, rule of thumb is to wait one or two candles to verify that uh, the trend uh, has continued. Some people with Blendison, with Heiken Ashi, they will wait three full candles. And that's very important to kind of know uh, those boundaries. And like I said, you can basically, if you're looking to go short or short the market, you can apply those theories, uh, you know, basically conversion line crosses underneath the cloud, uh, you know, crosses the baseline underneath the cloud and, and you have a, a mix. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll talk more about Ichimoku cloud trading and we'll catch you guys later.